Okay, my loves, I'm coming at you guys with a quick video. So CoverGirl just came out with some new foundations. This is their Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation. It has coconut milk and owl extract. My skin loves coconut oil, so I think that this will be a really good thing. This is supposed to be a dewy finish, and this is a vegan foundation. So I have three colors. I have 610 Rich Deep, and then 620 Deep, and then 630 Deep. I'm just gonna swatch some really quick on my face because I'm not exactly sure what color is mine. Because I do look a little bit off as far as colors go, but this is the 610 Rich Deep. This is gonna be 620 Deep. And lastly, this is gonna be 630 Deep. Put that kind of close. You see that? Right here. So it's kind of weird because I thought I would be able to contour with the 630 Deep Dark, but honestly, it just looks super red. It somewhat mimics, well not mimics my complexion, but it's, this is a really weird color. I don't, I don't like this color. I've never seen something go dark like that, but it's like really just an undertone change, but nothing really else changed. It's looking like the 620 is the closest to my complexion. I think that I will try to use the 620 as my concealer. Per usual, I'm gonna spray my face with my Mario Badescu spray, and you guys always say I say it wrong but no one has given me the real way to say it. So I'm a stick with Mario Batiscu, okay? As you can see, I already did my brows and my lashes just because, again, this is just a foundation video. Definitely stay tuned for my updated foundation routine, but I'm gonna go in with the 620 Deep and see what this coverage is like. It's like such an odd color. Like, it, I don't know why they look so odd. They look like ashy. Does that make sense? Like the colors just look ashy. Like I just need to throw some lotion on it. Let's see how it blends out. Yeah, no. Something about how it blends out. See, it's kind of like this hazy look. So maybe after a while it'll oxidize, but this looks really dead. Like I look like I look like dead. Not worst case scenario dead, but like my body just died. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm gonna blend it out. Hopefully this oxidizes a little bit more rich. I think that's the word. This is not a rich color. It's like, it like mutes your melanin. It's like, it like turns it down a notch. Like I feel like I went from, maybe I need to close the window. I hope me closing the window helped. It's not worst case scenario, but it just, have you ever just put foundation on and you're like, wow, like this has my skin glowing even more? It's like this one I just feel like, eh, so far, but I'm putting more because it seems like it's a very light coverage and though I do like a skin-like appearance, it doesn't seem like it's covering pretty much any of my marks. So I know I have a mark there, let's see what it does. Okay, so it's definitely buildable because it covered it a second try. Okay, so coverage wise, it's pretty good. It's definitely buildable. However, it's giving me like masky. Does that make sense? I'm going for like a natural beat today just because I feel like this line is, you know, about being clean and like fresh and like, you know, showing your skin and yada, yada, yada. I could be wrong, but from the marketing of it being vegan, nourishing, and all that other good jazz, I'm gonna say that this is supposed to be like a skin embracing type foundation. I'm not gonna go heavy with foundation. Now I'm going to use the 610 Rich Deep to try to conceal under my eyes. I'm gonna do one more coat, just because again, I want it to be full coverage under my eyes. Another note, I'm having like this like stinging feeling around my eyes. So like in this inner corner and like right here, this edge. So I don't know if that is something in the ingredients. Usually my skin doesn't like aloe. The only time I use my aloe plant is if I'm using it for my like locks. But other than that, I don't usually put it on my body because I think I have a sensitivity to it, but it's not major. 
However, I'm not sure if that's what the tingling is, but let me just go over it with my beauty blender. I've never actually experienced this putting on a foundation. So this is very awkward. <laughs> if it gets worse, I'm just gonna have to take it off because yeah, this is very uncomfortable. Okay, so I would say if you have sensitive skin, be mindful of that because whoa, my face is low-key like on fire now. That was weird. Okay, so that's actually never happened to me with foundation ever. So that is, I don't know if I'll be using this again. But I'm gonna continue with this review since my face is already pretty much covered. So I'm gonna set it with my Banana Banai. The stinging has kind of subsided on this side, but it's kind of still doing it on this side. But I'm just gonna set. It sets really nice, it seems. Like, this is like a cool, like, leave in the house. Okay, color wise, I'm not too enthused. So I don't know if you can see this like grayish cast on my face and then like my actual neck, but that kind of scares me as far as bounce back goes. Like what am I gonna look like if I take a picture with flash? These are real questions. Yeah, we're gonna hope that this oxidizes to something different, but right now I'm not enthused or impressed. I'm just gonna add some light stuff to my face really quick just to make myself look more human, and I'll be back. Just going in with Eniale in the color Tiffany Lee. Y'all, so I'm looking at my face in the mirror, and I literally look like I'm dying. Like, I look like I'm slowly dying. Like, and I'm trying to save myself from dying. That's, it's so ugly. <laughs> Sorry. It's so gray looking. It's very gray and like, feel like a cloudy day. <laughs> so I'm gonna spray my face really quick and hopefully that helps it. I'll be back at the end of the day to give you my final opinion on this foundation, but right now, I don't even wanna go outside, but I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna be dramatic. I'm gonna go. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Adios. All right, hello my lovelies. It's been a whole day and um, that little gray cast you see, yes, that is me. That is how I've been looking. Um, so I started looking at my face throughout the day and not even Snapchat filters could save me. Like even with the Snapchat filter, you could see that there was like this gray hue over my face. So of course I already knew that there was gonna be some sort of flashback. So I went ahead and I took photos. I'll put them somewhere right here. As you can see, I look dead. Um, I look like I'm trying to do zombie makeup. So, um, Yes, there was definitely flashback, and honestly, even after it oxidized, like, it was not it. It almost oxidized more gray than when I was just putting it on. <sighs> I'm literally gonna have to give this a zero out of 10. Like, it, at this point, you didn't nail anything other than being vegan. And then on top of that, the stinging thing, that kind of worried me, so I'm hoping that in the morning, everything will be okay with my face. But I'm gonna say it's a no. Like, these are literally getting thrown away. Cover girl. <laughs> You are too big of a giant to be coming out with foundations this bad. Like, I thought we were done with the flashback foundations for deep complexions. Like, I thought we were done. I literally am embarrassed that I had to look like this all day. Even after a while, the foundation started caking where it was set. Like, look at my face. I look like I am slowly dying. Like, and I hate to keep saying that, but like, it, Honestly, I have nothing good to say about this other than the cute packaging. I have nothing. I don't see what dewy finish this is. Like, this is not a dewy finish. Like, my face looks just as normal as it would when I had a matte foundation on. The only thing I can say is it doesn't crease. <laughs> and I'm totally joking, because I honestly, I don't care about that if I look like a freaking ghost. Like, that means nothing to me. So, I mean, I really have nothing else to say about this. I'm not gonna ram on about how terrible this foundation was, but um, yeah, it's going in the garbage. It's a no-go, y'all. It's a no. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you save some coins. Like usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at I am Linda Elaine, Snapchat at Jim Mexican Beauty, and I hope you have a marvelous day or night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you later. Deuces.